All right, so today I'm going to be taking you through uh, a mini investigation with the help of, um, of a tool called Scalpel. Scalpel is a data carving utility. Uh, basically all that means is, um, is that it's going to search through our disk and recover items uh, using um, the item uh, or the file type header or, or um, footer. Um, and so in this case, I've got a flash drive that's going to serve as our disk. Now I've messed it up pretty good. I've formatted it a couple times, uh, created a couple of partitions, um, changed different um, file types and, and that sort of thing. So we're going to see what we can come up with. Um, so uh, here's our demo um, disk. And uh, I'm just going to open it up just to show that there's, there's nothing really here. Um, nothing. So I'm going to close it down. Now with any kind of investigation, you will definitely want to um, uh, take a hash of, of the item before you actually begin working on it. In this case, um, here's our item here. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a, uh, a terminal. And we're going to try to go ahead and grab a hash of this, oops, of this guy. I'm actually remoting into one of my virtual machines um, from a different location, so bear with me if my um, cursor kind of gets out of out of whack here. Okay, so here we go. Let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and start. Well, first off, we need to know um, where this disk is or, or, or what it's called. So um, we're going to use a command um, f disk and we're going to get it to list out our disks. So we've got our our boot drive here and we've also got our flash drive that I've plugged in. It's an 8 gig flash drive but we're only interested in this one partition that I've created. Uh, it's one gig. So what we're going to do, go ahead and do, is uh, we're going to grab that um, hash. So we're going to say, uh, use a command uh, uh, specifically for this, so we're going to say dd our input disk is going to be our dev sdv1 and I'm going to go ahead and uh, increase the block size just to make it go a little faster and um, it goes in, 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 in blocks of twin, um, a, a gig so basically this guy's going to be scanning it all, all at once essentially um, so here we go so there's our block size and I'm actually going to pipe all of this information out to md5 sum now I'm sure there's probably oops, there's probably a better way to do this, um, but this is the way that I found uh, worked for me, and uh, this might take some time. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here, and we'll pick up whenever it finishes. All right, looks like it's completed. Um, I'm sure, like I said before, I'm sure there's a there's a better way to do this, but this is the way that I found worked for me. Um, and again, we could have we could have had this output to like a text file or something like that, um, but in our purposes, uh, or for my purposes today, it's it's that this is all we need. Uh, so this is the hash that we've uh, just um, grabbed from just the partition uh, that we are looking at on this drive, not the full drive. Um, okay, so now that we've got that taken care of, what we want to do is go ahead and take a, 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 an image of that partition and copy it onto our uh, desktop. To do that, I'm going to say same dd command, um, and we're going to use the same input drive, which is going to be our dev sdv1. This time we're going to use uh, send it to a different place and in that case it will be our desktop. Oops, desk, yeah that's right, desktop and I'm going to call it just uh, demo.image and I'm also going to use that same block size just to make things go a little bit faster. So block size um, 2048 so that should do it I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter and it is running now this can take some time as well so I'm gonna go ahead and pause once again and just kidding it is finished all right so <clears throat> here is our image and we're gonna verify that nothing has changed by taking a hash of this new image so we're gonna say um, the usual route we're gonna go md5 sum um, root desktop demo dot image there we have it and let's compare let's see here so here's our one hash and here's our other and as you can see they match meaning nothing has changed from when we first grabbed our hash to when we copied our um, replica um, 
So now that we've got an image, we can start working on that image. Um, so to do that, we will need our tool, Scalpel. Um, so let's go ahead and install it. Uh, in this case, I've already installed it, but I'll take you through the steps. So we're going to say sudo. Uh, let's see here. apt get install scalpel. And that would, uh, generally, that would go ahead and install that uh, scalpel. But it's since it's already installed here, we are good to go. Um, one thing I want to show you, though. Um, when Scalpel installs, it also gives you the um, ability to configure exactly what file types you want it to look for. Um, it'd be kind of silly if it didn't. Uh, that file is, uh, is, is, um, is stored, and uh, um, we're going to take a look at it. So we're going to say sudo uh, leafpad, and that's just a text editor, leafpad, and it's stored in the Etsy um, Scalpel. Scalpel.conf. That's where it is. Okay, so here we have it. Here's our config file, and it gives you a little bit more information about how to how to use it. I'm just going to go through real quick on what we're going to be doing. So, uh, if we scroll down, we'll see a different uh, a lot of different uh, file types and and what you can um, how you can uh, ask Scalpel to uh, to do what you needed to do. In our case, I've gone ahead and uh, uncommented. That's what these. Um, uh, pound signs are they are comments essentially so I've uncommented it meaning uh, when um, scalpel's running it will actually read this line and use it so we are looking for gifs uh, jpegs uh, pngs and I've actually added uh, an entry because I was a little sad that they don't have pdfs uh, listed here so I have added an entry for pdf so pdf would be our extension uh, the, this entry here is just saying, does case matter? In our case, yes, it does matter. This is our size, which is pretty big. And this is the actual, this is, this is where the magic happens. This is what it's looking for. It's going through um, our blocks on that disk, and it is looking for any, um, um, I guess, section that starts with this header. I've not added a footer. Um, I probably should, but... Uh, in this case, that's just all I wanted to look for. So I've gone ahead and obviously uncommented that one because I've, I've just added that. Um, but uh, you can go through and just kind of look and see if there are any other files that you actually want to look for, or you can do what I've done and and add add an entry to look for a particular file. So without further ado, let's go ahead and save this. Since we didn't make any changes, I'm going to go ahead and close. And that should bring us back to our terminal. Here we go. Let's go ahead and use it. So um, how you would use Scalpel would be as follows. You would say sudo uh, scalpel. And we're going to use a switch, the dash O switch, which means basically output. Uh, we're going to, oops, before we even output, we've got to tell it where to look. So we're saying scalpel, I need you to run as administrator and or root. Um, and I need you to look at the uh, dev sd sdbd1 uh, sorry no that's wrong um, sdb1 there we go sdb1 um, goodness gracious I can't type sdb1 there we go uh, disk I need you to look at that disk and I need you to output all of the file types that I've told you to output to this location, and our location is just going to be our desktop. Um, so desktop, uh, and we're going to put it in a file called um, rec items, and let's kick it off. And there it goes. Now the smaller the drive or the smaller the disk, the faster it will run. In our case, it's only a gig, so it's going to it's going to roll pretty quickly, but I initially tried this at the at eight gigs, and it just uh, it was just a little too long for for our short um, video. And should be done. There it is, and you, as you can see, it created our folder. And inside should be the items that it found um, uh, with our with the following headers and footers. Um, so here we go. You can kind of see in this output here as it was rolling. These are the items that it found and why it flagged them. So um, 
I'll leave that up to you. You can look at that. But let's go ahead and open up our folder. And let's start with our PDF folder. And this is taking its sweet time, but I guess I'll go ahead and try to open it up. And there you have it. There is uh, there is a PDF that I had deleted earlier. Um, and I'll show you also, um, it didn't find any GIFs, but it did find some JPEGs. And these are the ones that... Now, I'll be honest with you, this file, uh, this file was on the flash drive before I um, formatted it. And I formatted it three times, which kind of gives you the... Um, just the understanding that that um, that when you delete something, it it does not delete it. Um, it is still still resting there until it is overwritten, um, usually a couple of times. Um, so that's uh, that's pretty impressive. Uh, definitely some some marks go towards uh, scalpel and its usability. But just some other things that were on the uh, on the flash drive there. But that's a uh, that's a quick overview um, of how to use scalpel. And, uh, and kind of how to edit it and make it make it work for you. Scalpel, uh, just a quick note, Scalpel can work on Windows, Linux, or Mac. In this case, this is a, this is a Kali Linux VM uh, that we're running on, and just to kind of give you an idea. But, uh, but there you have it. That's all, uh, that's all I've got.